Hello, my dearest friends. You are in your short channel, and here with you, Yuri Gimilfarb. Today, we will have a special stream, and therefore, I ask you to thread with it maximum attention. I warn you in advance, dear friends, that I give you full order to distribute the stream and re-upload into your channels. That is your order. But let us first, dear friends, look at the picture of this girl. Her name is Lisa Krayukina. She's one year and four months old. She was born 23rd of September 2018 year. She was diagnosed with a rather terrible diagnosis, spinal muscular atrophy gene 1. With this disease, every people in Russia are doomed to death. Here, I show you the link in on Wikipedia in this disease, and you can make sure that this really terrible disease, this is a genetic disease, and with this disease, people are really doomed to death. Only one clinic in the world can cure this disease. This clinic is Boston's Children's Hospital. This clinic is located in the United States. And this clinic cures this disease with the help of the newest medicine that was allowed to be used only in May 2019. This medicine is Zolgensma and it produces, as I say, replacement of the broken chain of gene and the child begins to grow up. The medicine, for your understanding, it costs two million one hundred thousand dollars. And it entered once. It is the most expensive medicine in the world for now. And this medicine to be entered need for this girl plus four hundred thousand dollars costs in worth a so-called post-operative recovery. Well, I'm not a doctor, I may be confused with the terminology, but here's the thing, in Russia this child is doomed, doomed to death. And this girl's parents realizing that obviously can't connect amount of cash, it's uh, impossible. They did the next thing. They wrote a letter to Donald Trump. Here's the letter. If you can't see correctly, I'll read it out. For the President of the United States, Mr. Donald Trump from Kryukin Alion Alexander and Kryukin Alexei Viktorovich. Dearest Mr. Trump, we are Kryukin Alexei Viktorovich and Kryukina Aliona Alexandrovna. We are parents of Kryukina Elizabeth Alexeevna, born in 23rd of September 2018 year. 23rd of January 2020 year. Our daughter was diagnosed spinal muscular atrophy gene 1 disease. This is a genetic disease with, which makes wasting of various muscles with the keeping full mind of human. In Russia, it's no way to healing this disease. US Clinic Boston's Children's Hospital has made a healing SMA with a medicine Zolgensma, which makes a replacement of the broken chain of gene and the child begins to grow up. This medicine costs $2,100,000 and $400,000 for manipulation and post-operative observation. This medicine needs to be entered at once. Now Lisa is one year and four months old.
She independently turned to her stomach, hold her head, sit, but not sit down. Intellectually, she's a very smart and in intuitive girl. He says, mother, father, grandpa, and imitated various sound. We have a lot engaged with her. In the Russian Federation, our child is doomed to death. For our family, the whole life can earn the money for the medicine Zolgensma, but thankfully, this medicine, our child become a full member of society. We already lost our first child in 2013 here for this disease. Mr. Trump, we are complete despair. Please, save our Lisa. Lisa's parents, Kryukina and Kryukin. And here is a letter I like this. At the first glance, why parents don't address to our president Vladimir Putin because they seem to be citizens of the country and they should address to the head of government first of all so that he could somehow help this family but I can immediately say that it's absolutely useless to address Vladimir Putin well let us have a look at this photo, at least. In this photo, Putin is shown with other people's children, specially selected with the help of FSO, where he's standing in Sample Temple. Specially selected children. Think about it, dear friends. Specially selected children. It was such an event, but I, but I can say, okay, this kid is especially selected, okay, his wife ran away from him, okay, the daughters, Maria Voronsov and Ekaterina Tikonova, they had other, other people's name, but also, okay, Brief and I just could take a moment to think. And what the Russian president is doing right now? And why I am convinced that he never helped this family. Never help this girl. Here you are, dear friends. Please watch this new. Please watch this news. This is, you see now the State of Duma Deputy, the head of the State Council Committee of the Development of Civil Society, Public and Religion Associations, Sergei Gavrilo. So, during the round table of historical memory, the special lessons of the great victor, this is gentleman he proposed, I quote, I think, it necessary to strengthen criminal and administrative responsibility as well as responsibility of the media of the public statement about the responsibility of the USSR for the unleashing the Second World War and the crimes committed during it against humanity of Nazi Germany. That is, in other words, dear friends, this gentleman is concerned about only one thing, this victory. I did it, this gentleman, Sergei Gavrilov, you see me now on the screen, is concerned only to serve our national leader, only in the matter of victory. Except a victory, nothing intrigues our national leader, and he spends lots of money. Russia is celebrating. Money is being spent on it. But maybe you want to uh, agree with me that is, it's victory drunk that spends a lot less money. Oh, dear friends, let me disagree with you. And this news has been published on RBK official site. 
Russia will spend almost 340 million rubles celebrating for the 450th anniversary of the Cossacks. Dear friends, the two and a half million dollars required to thread this girl's 100 is 165 million rubles. That is the threatment of two such children. There is money which would be enough to treatment of two such children will be spent of celebration for the 450th anniversary of the Cossacks. That is what is spent on this money, my dear friends. And I ask whether a fabulous national leader who either prays or is engaged in victories or what is important, he forgives debts, distributes money with a generous hands and power hurricane to other countries. And pay attention to who gets this money. It's given to those regimes where it's impossible to control it all. I mean, I'm absolutely convinced that this money will be stolen, there is only that Putin gives away, but he now gives money to this girl. But I want to emphasize one more detail, it's also very important. Dear friends, the same Sverdlovsk region, such children are born, just like girl Lisa. Out of 16 people, in Russia there are 900 such children like Lisa, because about 10,000 people, such statistics, one such child is born, one child suffers from spinal muscular atrophy, and so such a child doomed to death in order to cure these 16 children in the Sverlovsk region alone. It takes two and a half billion rubles. Two and a half billion rubles. But I remind you, yesterday we were talking about it. The Ministry of Defense has spent three billion rubles just to buy two business center in the new Moscow. That is money spent on. And you still think that it makes sense to go to Putin to help this girl? Help? But if you have doubts about it, I will ask you a simple question. What will he gain from it? Will he get the gratitude from the electorate? He didn't give he didn't give them about it. He obedient guard, they will withdraw at the election. The data he needs, especially, I remind you, the constitution is beginning to rewrite now. There is anti-constitutional curb in Russia, during which this character he will receive unlimited power for an unlimited period. But then again, you can disagree with me, but maybe this victory is really reasonably, maybe he really believes in it. Let me disagree again with you, dear friends. In fact, is that an airline victory in Kazan refused? to put the veteran of the great patriotic war, Mr. Halimo, in a place of high comfort about, only on reason of an emergency he would not to be able to help the crew. Is this care of veterans? Is that your ordering to understand this? But it would be wrong to say that 
our fabulous national leader, he in concern only with this. That is not all. What he concerned about pre prosecuting people for their political benefits and taking revenge for that they say long past days. We are constantly monitoring the situation in Ingushetia in our channel. So now, in Ingushetia, that's new interrogations and arrests were taking place. In particular, of 4th February, not later than yesterday, nine people were detained there. In recall on 26-27 March last year, according to events that took place one year ago, now is known uh, that the detail people are accused of using violence against police officer under the article 318 of the criminal law. They are accused of violence against policemen. After the video showed this, there was no violence. And after that, dear friends, do you still think about this character? He will interfere in the affair of this girl. Will he interfere in the affairs of Lisa and save her life? No, dear friends, I personally believe that the decision to turn to Donald Trump is absolutely right. But in this situation, I'm telling you about it, not only in order to inform you about it, but also take concrete actions. Dear friends, I'm not doing to engrate to get enough and collect money for this girl because it's useless in this situation. 167 million in such a short period of time we, n we will not collect. Since we're taking our terms, I remind you, this girl is one year and four months old. From the moment she wrote the letter, she's one month older. That is purely formal until the expiry of this period, when the treatment still makes seven months. However, throw out of this period two months, which are needed to procedure and pass procedure recovery, throw them out. Throw it out. There is five months left. Throw out two months so that the parents of this girl, even if you are given to good, they received a visa to the American embassy, arrived at the place, and they arranged. It's not just five minutes, and believe. Visas in American Embassy not give quickly two months to decide whether to live this girl or not. And that is exactly the reason why I'm doing that. I have to do now, dear friends. First of all, I am address the President of the United States of America, Mr. Donald Trump. Mr. Donald Trump. As I just say, for Vladimir Putin, this girl life, no more precision than a pile of dirt. For him, she, she has no meaning. But for you, for the leader of the United States, for the moral authority of the entire free world, this is especially an election year. It will be a very strong PR move. I can't promise you, dear Mr. Trump, 
that I will advertise your elections. I'm just a citizen uh, of another country, not being a US citizen, have uh, no legal or, or moral rights to do. I will not do that. But think about it, Mr. Trump. How your credibility will arise if you to take part of this girl's fate. Think about it, dearest Mr. Trump. I'm also appeal to those politicians. Some of them on my channel, who I know look like uh, their White House in the United States, can come. I don't name their names. It's your up to you to decide what to do. But I ask you, bring this information to Mr. Trump. I appeal to my subscribers, to those who are fluent in English. I'm asking, adding subtitle for this video in English and posted it. For myself, I can say that I will not to, uh, to go bad until I put this, this piece of stream as a separate video. Unless I am also remind you, I give you full order to distribute this video, rewrite it to your channel, as you wish, distribute in social media, in YouTube, whatever you want to do this. There will be no strikes from me. Else, I'm also appeal to uh, wealthy people in the USA, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Western Europe, Australia, New Zealand. I know uh, these many people watching me. I'm asking you to help this girl. More than this. I offer you, with this, I'm ready to help completely with full media support to organize a special foundation to help children who suffer from spinal muscular atrophy. I'm offering to organize a special foundation for that, because let's be realistic for the president of the United States, personally for Donald Trump, it is not a man, but he is physically unable to cure all the children for all the countries. I propose to organize a special foundation, and for this foundation I am guarantee uh, providing maximum media support everything I can. I turn my fellow journalists and especially uh, bloggers. Guys, we used to have uh, great but graders between us something. It's in inevitable. We criticize each other sometimes, but you remember Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky, the happiness of the world is not worth even the tears of the innocent child. Guys, please, let's forget it all for these reasons. If you don't want to realize this video, you don't make your reportages. Cover this subject. Don't shut up, please. It's a pretty sharp question. And, by the way, I'd, I'd like to address a special kind. Yes, I know, my channel is being thrown out to the search, the viewing is being cut, I know it all. I know who doing this, and I don't even name. Is there anything human left? 
India that is raw video and this cut from stream don't let it get, get in don't let it get uh, distributing of YouTube and the last thing I know there are certain public on YouTube this entertains itself as declaring everything to the stage cheating ATC and ATC and engaged is threatening hating and thrall I'm not a native person I'm not naive if you don't want to help, at least don't interfere. Please, at least keep quiet. I'm telling you again, this is about a child life. Think about it. And at the end of my speech, I once again recall this Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky from the novel of the Brothers Karamas The happiness of the whole world is not worth even the tears of an innocent child